Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tip that I don't think many of you know concerning Lightroom's graduated filter, or as they call it nowadays, linear gradient. Depending on how experienced you are in Lightroom, you may get two or three tips on using the linear gradient in Lightroom in this video. We're going to be working on this image. Now, those of you that watch my videos may recognize this image. Yesterday, I did a video on NYX uh, Silver, X, Silver Effects Pro 3. And in that video, I converted this image to black and white. Now, that video, I was just kind of demoing how to use Nick Silver Effects Pro 3, and I really wasn't paying attention to whether or not I really liked what I was doing. And after getting the image back into Lightroom, I've decided I don't care for it that much. Um, I would like a little more contrast in the sky, and the water is a little too dark. I'd like to brighten up the water a little bit. So I'm going to add some linear gradients to this image to achieve that. So I'm going to open up the masking tool and we'll go down to the linear gradient and I want to put a linear gradient right at the horizon line and have it so it affects the sky. So I'm going to click and drag down so it affects the sky. Now here's a tip that I think many of you probably already know. To draw a perfectly horizontal linear gradient, hold the shift key in while you draw and you'll be getting a perfectly horizontal gradient. And I do not want the graduation of the gradient to be that great. I want it to really be tight right at the horizon line, so something just like that. Now, I mentioned I want to add contrast to the sky, so we'll go right up to the contrast control and add contrast. And I like it. All right, so I did that. Now, I want to add another linear gradient to the water. Now, most of you probably know this trick as well. Um, I don't have to draw a new one. I could right-click right on this. Uh, pin and go down to not duplicate linear gradient one. You don't want to do that. And at the end of this video, I'll explain why you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to go down to duplicate mask one. And when you do that, you'll get a second linear gradient right on top of the first one with the same exact settings. So you could see that both of these linear gradients are affecting the sky. So we have twice the contrast adjustment on the sky. But I mentioned I want this one to affect the water. I just duplicated it, and it's identical to the first one. Well, to flip it horizontal, and this is the tip, all right? I don't think many of you know. To flip it horizontally, all you need to do is hit the apostrophe key on your keyboard. And when you do that, you'll notice it's flipped. So it's on the water now. Now, I mentioned I don't want to add contrast to the water. I want to add exposure to the water. So we're making the water a little brighter. So there is the tip to flip a linear gradient, or if you prefer a graduated filter, uh, in Lightroom, uh, just hit the apostrophe key and you'll flip it from vertical to horizontal or horizontal or, or you know, you'll flip from top to bottom to bottom to top, I guess is a better way to put it. Now, I mentioned that when you duplicate the linear gradient, you don't want to actually duplicate linear gradient. You want to duplicate mask. And let me explain why. I'm going to reset this. All right, and we'll go back to linear gradient. We're going to add another one. I'm going to hold the shift key down, and we're going to draw down just like I did last time, and we're going to add contrast just like I did last time. Now we're going to go back to this uh, pin, and we're going to right-click on it, and don't do duplicate linear gradient. Don't, but I'm going to do it. All right, so now we have two, twice, just like before. It has twice the contrast on the sky. I'm going to flip it by hitting the apostrophe key. So now that contrast is on the water, but I'm going to take the contrast away, and you'll probably notice it when I take contrast away. Look at the sky. It's taking it away from the sky, too. And look at our mask. It's on the sky and the water. That's because we only have one mask. So if I go to exposure and put that up, it's going to affect everything. Even though I have only one linear gradient active, it affects everything. That's because we have one mask. So when you do this, whenever you duplicate linear gradients, what you're most often probably going to want to do is make sure that when you right-click on it, 
go down to duplicate mask. In this case, it's mask one. And then you could hit the apostrophe key and then you could come in and like in this one, that you could then kind of move it to the side because it's going to be right on top of the other one. Then click on the other one or you could go up here and switch between them here by clicking. Okay, and then here I could add contrast to that second one. So that's the way you do it. Hopefully you got more than one tip out of this video that you didn't know. Hopefully you got at least one tip out of this video that you didn't know. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>